Hey everybody, welcome back to Fun Size VO, the podcast where we answer your questions and try to keep them nice, short, and sweet. I am one of your hosts, PM Seymour. And I'm your other host, Austin Lee Matthews. And today, we have a question where we have to go back in touch with our roots. Austin, recite the question. A few people sent in this question, so how or why did we start voice acting? And the why is probably the most important of the two. So, why did you start voice acting, Patrick? Well, when I was a wee little boy at the age of 17, I was a part of theater troupe in high school. And I liked acting, but I didn't like me being on stage at 300 plus pounds with a lot of acting and feeling very self-conscious about myself. So, I didn't want to be on stage a lot. My theater director was like, hey, how about this? We'll do a lot of, like, interesting background characters vocally, and you can just act behind, like, one of the little handheld microphones we have on stage. My brain exploded for a second because I never realized that was a thing you could do. Because it's weird. I never, like, (laughs) I never had that realization that, like, cartoons and commercials and video games, there was an actual actor portraying all of those things that were happening. Like, oh, there's... The characters talk. Clearly, there's somebody who has to do that thing. It's funny how many people come to that realization of like, oh, yeah, there's somebody who does those and gets paid to do it. After high school, I was like, well, I really like doing this. Where the heck could I do it now? And then it was probably around, was it 2008? Yeah, 2008 is when I think YouTube started becoming a little bit easier to use So I started doing a lot of stuff there, and then I started doing stuff on Newgrounds. But then I realized I was also putting myself in front of people who were actually, like, trained actors who have been doing this a long time. And I would start getting feedback like, this is good, but let's try to fix a few things so you can be better. It eventually snowballed into me, like, being, you know what, you're right. I I can definitely do things a lot better. I mean... It's it's easy to think like you're a great actor when you're just around a bunch of awkward teenagers in high school. So it's like, oh, this is my level of good. So I'm a great actor. And then you get around all the other people like, oh, OK, I need improvement. And I really like to improve. <laughs> but I think what really sold me, why I wanted to specifically be more of a voice actor than, say, like a stage actor or a motion capturing actor or a film actor is I like being behind characters and I like the whole cartoon presence of it. So it's one of those, a lot of, a lot of times when I was a kid, like cartoons were my way of learning things. So it's kind of nice to finally be able to be at a point where I can kind of pass down knowledge in the form of a cartoon character to a new younger audience. Interesting. And what about you? How'd you start? Mine kind of goes back a ways. I used to basically like quote cartoons all the goddamn time and i would just like most of my most of my vocabulary was taken from cartoons because that's just like what i watched and that's what i related to right. and i would also like you know b- quote steve Irwin in like an australian accent you know it was just it was fun to do it was how i you know i smiled and people thought i was weird for it and rightfully so i i did that basically like all through high school like I felt like it started off being like the weird kid who did cartoon voices um and then in high school like I had friends who were just like oh man dude like that's that shit's actually funny like that's not like you know that's not stupid that's fun you know do do more of that and we you know we would chill out and have fun but ultimately that's like I didn't really think of that as like something I could do like professionally I never really took any acting classes in high school or school at all it was just never something that I was like oh yeah I want to I want to be an actor I actually I've found a lot of love in high school and elementary school doing um art I I drew a lot um and I wanted to be an animator I wasn't good um but I wanted to I wanted to be an animator for cartoons. I wanted to start, I wanted to have my own cartoon show. I wanted to um, make comics. I wanted to find, you know, creative ways to make people happy. I still do want to like, you know, make a cartoon at some point, but um, that's not my primary focus anymore. When I got into high school, I found that a lot of people really wanted me to start doing more animation because I would, you know, animate to 
songs and like I did like a really funny animation. Well, not funny animation, but I did an animation uh, in MS Paint to Beelzebub by Tenacious D. And a bunch of my friends were like, hey, man, you should do more of that. So I did more and I decided, you know what, I'm going to add voices to it. So I started recording like voices just on a little iPod microphone and recording um, just characters for my cartoons. And then in April of 2009, I'm like, you know what? I want to try doing more of this for other people and maybe try and make some connections to other animators that way. So I auditioned for some voiceover stuff on YouTube. And then I realized, hey, I don't like animating. I love doing voiceover, though. Let's, uh, let's do more of that, please. And so that's <laughs> how I started. And I, I, think, I think that's actually a lot more common than people might think because a lot of times you go into the entertainment industry wanting to be one thing and then you find out that hey I like doing this a lot more than I like that let's do more of that let's make that into a career and that's kind of how I got exactly. into it exactly it's so strange to think about because I know this is probably not entirely true but a lot of the colleagues I know definitely have not been voice acting was definitely not their plan a like it, it is so strange because i always thought it's like maybe it's just me like i thought it was just weird that this big bumbly guy on stage decided it's like i'm gonna do stage actor it's like no you're a better voice actor you should do that like oh, okay <laughs> it, i i i literally i'm sure they're out there i've just never met a person who voice acting was their plan a but it's it's definitely the best plan B ever made. And this is not to like discourage anything anybody, but I find that like a lot of people who want to be a voice actor like as their plan A with like going into it, they don't always turn out to be like the best actor. They just kind of they have the excitement for it, but they don't really have the drive to get better. It, and it's so strange too because a lot of those people that do want to take that plan A route. And it's one of those when they ask, like, well, where do I go to, like, learn how to be a better voice actor? I'm like, honestly, you want to take theater classes because the first step is getting the acting part down right. And I think theater classes are the best way to get those feelings and drive and giving a great performance out of you and then we'll play around with the voices because not not to gripe on a lot of the voice acting workshops I've attended but they have really been focusing more on your tone and your placement and mic presentation it's like when do we get to the part where we actually need to learn how to act and also like if you have the ability in in school at all to take a theater class do it then all right so so those are, our, I guess you want to say, origin stories in the most abridged way possible. Very abridged. <laughs> but it's one of those, it's definitely, if you feel like you aren't there just yet or you worry that you're not going to, it's not going to be your plan A, it's fine. Because look at us. Yeah. We're two plan B guys and we're happy. Honestly. Get out there and do your fun stuff. If you have any questions you would like for us to answer, Please let us know on Twitter with the hashtag FunSizeVO. Actors, if you feel like sharing your origin story, hit us up in the comments below. <coughs> Austin? <coughs> Austin? Ring the bell. I was about to say, do you want to do, do your thing? What are those three words you really like saying at the end of each episode? Uh, uh, cl uh clang the dingling. Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> YouTube's not going to show this now. <laughs> I think that's where I'll cut it out.